Hi everyone, welcome back. Sarah here. Hope you guys have, are having a happy new year. And um, so I was planning on coming out and doing some planting today. It's a gorgeous day, the sun is shining, birds are singing, but I've been a little under the weather, but I still wanted to get outside and enjoy some sunshine. So I figured we could just go around and look at the different arrangements I had done. Some of them are definitely in need of getting a little updated, getting a little bit cut back, some are a little overgrown. So it's just kind of nice to see, look back and see how well plants have taken off, some that are slower than others. So I figured we could just go around and check out some plants. Okay, let's go check them out. Okay, so we definitely got a lot of rain over the last few weeks because the weeds are definitely going crazy. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So anyway, I, this I liked a lot. This one's doing really well. I'm definitely gonna wanna cut some of this stuff back. We have this lovely Gollum, he's done really well I, he's one of my favorite jades i just think his little little texture is so cute and then they just make really good arrangements they can cut in and they're really great to use for cuttings he has tons of pine needles in them so that needs to be cleaned out this thing's ready to like a lot of these plants unfortunately i don't really know the name of just because <clears throat> i spy a lot of stuff the swamp meat and they don't always come with names so you don't always necessarily know what stuff is, but still fun. I like this one a lot too. And I love how the sun just kind of shining. It's in the afternoon now, so the sun is on its way down-ish. It's around three o'clock. So kind of towards the later afternoon here, but this gets full sun. So it's really, I love how it shines during this time of day. And then over here, I really love this variegated Jade, some type of crassula. He's doing really well. He's not a very fast grower. He's been, he took him a while to cut. I got him from cuttings, um, but he's almost the same size as he was when he put him in here a year ago. So, pretty slow grower, which I seem to find that the variegated ones don't seem to grow as quickly. Here's some Fred Ives, also from cuttings. This whole entire bin is, is cuttings. Um, Aeoniums. I'm not really a huge fan of that Aeonium, to be honest. Let's see what else we got over here. Oh, so here is my Cheridictus Canadissimus. I did a video on those. Also, not this very fast growers, but I just love their sculpture. They have really nice sculptural. I'm really wanting to kind of put them in the ground this year, I think, and see how they do. They just need really good, um, good draining soil, but, and then over here, oh, let's get rid of that pine cone. Some different types of, uh, echeverias, which are looking really well. They've definitely enjoyed the rain we've been having. This one's blooming. It's so cute. I forget what this thing's called. I was worried this thing had, um, was gonna die. I had it in this pot and I forgot that it didn't have drainage and it was completely full. So luckily he doesn't seem to have gotten too rotten. So hopefully he'll be fine. It's a mesembatheum species. So I like to try to keep their tags in. Otherwise I can't remember what they are. He's looking really well. This one, not so well. I'm not, I forget what this one is called, but um, I'm not quite sure what's up with all these little splotches. Originally, this happened a while back when we got some hail, and so I was thinking it was hail damage, but we haven't had any hail for a good year, so I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. Now this one I really like. Oh, hi, baby. <clears throat> so this is a, a Sahara Echeveria, or Echeveria Sahara. Um, but he has just taken off. So this was all cuttings and not cuttings, I'm sorry, like one plant. And then we have all these little, I really need to take him out because he's kind of crushing all the babies underneath. But so we have that and then we have a petal plant in the back, but he really just needs to, he looks like huge. He looks like a head of cabbage almost. He's just enormous. <clears throat> and then here's like a little baby one I had taken out because he needed to have some room. My plan had actually been to go through, they have all these different 
little hodgepodge plants that, you know, I use some for arrangements and whatnot, and I really just need to get them all together <clears throat> in some pots. So that was what my plan had been, but alas, best laid intentions and all that. These are nice, cute little, I really like those. These are, I've never done, this one never has done very well. The snails tend to really like this thing too. This one is just taken off. It's a little kind of fuzzy. Here's a type of Kalanchoe, which aren't really one of my favorite plants to be honest, but he really needs to be trimmed back because he's kind of gotten super tall and he's ready to bloom. Let's see here. Oh, see here's some little golem arrangements I had done made these pod plants, concrete planters, which were fun. Now these were, I did, um, I did a video on these actually. So I have this arrangement, this one, and then this one right here. These work from all from just cuttings I did. So this Aeonium is just huge. I mean, look at that. So really big. And there's the kitten frolicking in the backyard. So this I definitely want to, uh, cause who knows even what's in here. I forget, it was so long ago. There's a bunch of aeoniums in there. There's some more aeoniums. Look at those, so pretty. I like those rosettes. More Kalanchoe's. This is that, so here's that, it was a, uh, I think I, I forget what I titled it, gnome. Anyway, it's got the gnome in it, but <laughs> gnome and echeverias, and it's really, these just need to be cut off and plunked back in there, because they are definitely taken over. And these are interesting, because these, when I, um, if you look back at the previous video, these ones were actually more of a pinkish color. Now they're just turned green. So they, he gets a lot of sun. Oh, that poor little echeveria in the back's got a lot of water. <laughs> These are looking nice. All kinds of stuff in there. A little aloe, donkey tail. This is my crested, I think this is a sunburst aeonium. Or I think so anyway. I don't know, but he's really cool. Let's see if we can get a good, like he's really well crested. And this actually is a house plant that I don't really have inside, but I brought it out to get some more sunshine. Here's my lithops that are doing much better. They were getting a little um, wrinkled and they are just getting too much water. I will say with top dressing, I like top dressing, but it does definitely hold in moisture. So you just want to be careful that when it's a plant that already doesn't like to be watered, you really, really don't need to water it very much just because this top dressing really holds in the moisture. And this to bloom. This back here is a, it's a type of pacopodium and it's just, it's dormant. So I, it doesn't really need much water. It gets, gets all the water it needs. It rots really easy if it's out in this rain. So I just brought it in underneath the patio so it won't get any more rain on it. And then here's some of my lithops. Really purple. That's so cute. I like the little wrinkled Sure. And we have this guy, this, and this is a lifesaver plant, which does give off the coolest blooms. Unfortunately, nothing's blooming at the moment, but they literally do look like lifesavers. It's the neatest thing. <clears throat> this, I really wish it wasn't such a limey green. I'm kind of thinking it's getting too much sun along this winter time, so it's not getting as much sun as it was during the summer, but kind of wanting to almost put him on the uh, other side of the house where he's getting less sun. And then here is another crested. And then these are actual air roots that are coming off. So that's kind of interesting. This, I forget what it's called. He's definitely, he's a little bit more soil in there. I think he's uh, starting to lean. 
There's another crested Echeveria. Look at all those little air roots. And a fuzzy little cactus. Let's see here, what else we got? Oh, over here. Oh, here's that. Um, I did a video on this of these, this crested Echeveria. He's, or cubic, it's cubic frost. He, I brought him outside. He was looking a little peaked, needed some sunshine. So he's been hanging out here for, I don't know, a couple months. Definitely been getting lots of rain. This is a nice little black. Well, it was a black Aeonium. It's kind of gotten a little, I'm not really a huge fan of Aeoniums. They tend to just kind of get this scraggly look to me, but to each their own. These I put a bunch in my pumpkin arrangement. They're looking really good. And they start getting ready to bloom, so that'll look cool. <clears throat> and over here, I have one of the two ponytail palms. This needs to just get cut off. So some of these bottom ones are brown. I don't know. I kind of always wonder why sometimes they get brown tips, but you know, that's just nature. So if you don't like it, sometimes I'll just go through and cut them off. Like there are little tips in here, but for the most part, I'm okay with it. Let's see here. Oh, this, <clears throat> this is a staghorn cotyledon because it kind of has that staghorn appearance. See so, you know, the little, it has that white dusty stuff on it. Let's see here. This little extra berry could definitely get a little cleaned up. Well, see, there's something very fun about just cleaning up plants. Oh, there's ants. I have the worst luck with ants. They're so bad here. It doesn't matter time of year. It's just, they're horrible. There's another one of those um, little variegated jades. And this is a type of ice plant, which I really like this, the sculpture of it. That's just the shape is just really cool. And then this barrel, <laughs> I think, I feel like in my last pot plant tour, I was planning on re, uh, replanting him and I never got around to it. It just was too hot this summer. So, I love these Aeoniums. It's really, these sunburst Aeoniums, they don't really seem to propagate as much as the other Aeoniums because this thing's about a year old, This, these plants, and not one single plant has come from this. I've got tons of string of pearls. I really need to like cut it off and repropagate it. And this... I really like this arrangement here, and I had, I forget what was here, but the snail is just, um, it kept trying and trying and trying, and the snail is finally one. Oh, this is cute. So this was, there's the mom, and then it made a little pee-pee. I just love the succulents. They really are the gift that keeps on giving. So much fun. And then over here... So this Echeveria, so this little um, kind of wrinkled, this is actually a virus that they get. And it's really interesting because when I bought it, it was super wrinkled. And then like six months later, this this all went away. And I was just kind of bummed because that's what I liked about it. But now it's back. So it's really, I like that whole unique look to it. Yeah, and this whole thing is really taken off in the, with all of our uh, rain we've been having doesn't take much because this is really filled in nicely over here and then the kitten paws are just super I like the little red tips they're good because it's this gets a lot more sun in this area so when I had this more in a shady area this will just be green but with the sun it gets these nice little cute red tips which I really like this whole thing is just super compact I just love that look and then this I'm kind of contemplating. These are those fairy tale cactus, and 
they're just super, like this color is basically because it's hanging out in the sun. So I'm almost thinking of moving this to a less sunny spot, just because I do like that really vibrant green look it gets, which it's obviously not getting it now just because of the sun. So I'm kind of thinking of moving him, but everything else here just looks so very full of pine needles from all of our, this huge pine tree we have. So, yeah, and then look at the little buds coming up. And a little, I think there's a, I think this is a memelaria of some kind, super fuzzy. There's Riley playing with a dead snail, apparently. Say hello. Okay, so those are basically all of the plants. Oh, I have some crinkly jade over here and some other, I think this is like a miniature jade of some kind um, in this little, that I just kind of threw in here. I was planning on doing up a planting and then I never got around to it. Best leaf plants. Okay, well, plants are just getting bigger with the rain and uh, thanks for coming along on my little uh, journey of the backyard and uh, Hopefully soon we'll be potting up some plants and getting ready for some better weather. Okay, you guys have a great uh, day and have a happy new year. Okay, bye-bye.